Welcome back to the second part of our video series on cell division. Previously, we talked about all the different terms associated with cell division. Today, we're going to focus on basic cell division that your body would do. So the cells of your body that make up your body, allow you to grow, allow you to repair damage, any of those would be considered the part of cell division we're talking about today, which is mitosis. Now, all your cells go through a thing called cell division, but your body cells, most of the cells of your body, go through mitosis. And we talked about cell division. And cell division is made up of three different parts. First, we have interphase. Then we have mitosis. And we end with a thing called cytokinesis. Interphase is where you're going to spend most of your life as a cell. Mitosis, as we discussed in the previous video, is only the division of the nucleus. Everything else gets divided in this part called cytokinesis. Mitosis is only four phases of this. Mitosis has a thing called prophase, a part called metaphase, a part called anaphase, and a part called telophase. So we have interphase, mitosis, which is made up of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and then we end with cytokinesis. So let's walk you through all of these parts and also start putting pictures with them of the cell. So first, as I said, we have interphase. And in interphase, you have three different parts of that called G1, S, and G2. G1 is growth. And it's where you're going to spend 90 plus percent of your life. is in this interphase. S phase is where we copy the DNA. And G2 phase is where we prepare for mitosis. So when we start interphase, we are just a regular cell. And within our nucleus that we have here, we're going to have that little bit of chromatin that we talked about. And we're going to say that this cell has three different colors in it. Let's do maroon. Actually, we're going to do a different color. That's going to be really hard to see. We're going to do green. There we go. Much easier to see. So that's during G1. We're growing. G2, we copy that DNA. So that gives us a second little green squiggly, a second little red squiggly, and a second little blue squiggly. Because we've copied it. We made a copy of each of these. Now we have two red squigglies, two green squigglies, and two blue squigglies. G2, we prepare for mitosis. Now, after 
interphase. We enter mitosis. So we'll draw a little line here and label everything here mitosis. Our first phase of mitosis is going to be prophase. Prophase, three major things are going to happen. First, it is the largest of the stages and the longest. About 50 to 60 percent of the time spent in mitosis is going to be prophase. And the main thing that's happening here is you are getting ready for all the other stages. So it is the longest, as I said, about 50 to 60 percent of the time spent, and you are making these things called centrioles. And centrioles only appear in animal cells. They do not appear in plant cells. But we have them to help us organize the DNA, especially during anaphase. Centrioles will very much help us during anaphase. So the centrioles appear. We get chromosomes appear. Because up to this point, we have chromatin, the little squiggly, thinny boys, but now they're condensing. They're going to become thicky boys. So you get chromosomes appearing, and the nucleus at the end disappears. So let's draw ourselves a little cell here. We're going to get centrioles appearing. We'll mark those in orange. These are going to help us later on. You get your chromosomes appearing. As I said, they condense and they become thicky boys. So there's our blue our red and our green condensing and becoming the thicky boys. You'll see also now our sister chromatids are matching up. They're forming that X together. So they're matching up at the center. And finally, that nucleus dissolves. So we're going to represent that by making the nucleus just dotted, showing that it is disappearing on us. Next we have metaphase. And metaphase is when the chromosomes line up in the middle. And you also get this thing called the mitotic spindle. And the mitotic spindle is what these, these centrioles are making. So you'll get one centriole over here, one centriole over here, and then you line up in the center. Line up in the middle. So we'll have our blue there. And it doesn't matter what order. We're just putting it in this order because that's the order that I grabbed the markers. And then our green one. These centrioles will make these things called spindle fibers, and they will attach to each sister chromatin. So that during our next phase, anaphase, our sister chromatids can be pulled apart.
So we draw that again. And our sister chromatids are being pulled apart. We are separating them to the opposite ends of the cell so that each new cell can get a copy of these. And finally, we have telophase, which running out of room, we are going to put one here and then one down here. Telophase, you pretty much reverse prophase. So everything that we did in prophase, nucleus dissolves, our nucleus is going to reform in telophase. Your chromosomes condense, so we will put condense here so that we know what we are doing. Chromosomes condense, become the thicky boys. Chromosomes are going to uncondense and become thinny boys again, like they were in interphase. You also get your centrioles appearing. Your centrioles will disappear. They will go away. You, they won't be as prominent anymore. You also start the split of the cell. So we are reforming that nucleus. You are also going to uncondense those chromosomes, and they will be thinny boys again. And finally, you get. thing called cytokinesis, which is not part of mitosis. So we will say mitosis goes from here all the way to there. Everything inside that box is mitosis. Cytokinesis is part of cell division, but not part of mitosis. So you divide organelles and the cytoplasm. And you then fully divide the cell. Which, unfortunately, are really tiny down here because I've run out of room, but that's okay because we can still see them, hopefully. And then you still have Your chromatin down here being the little thin boys. So that is the end of this video on mitosis. Our next video will be on what I mentioned at the beginning of most of your body divides by mitosis. However, there are certain cells, sex cells in humans that do not divide by a process called mitosis. They have a special type of division called meiosis. So that will be the topic of our next video, meiosis.